Studio lighting can be used in many forms of photography, from fashion to e-commerce and even product photos. And today we're here with Mark to go over the basics of three-point lighting. Now, three-point lighting is the standard lighting method used in visual media, including video, film, and photography. So right now, we have a three-point setup. And what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct it for you today so you can see exactly what each light does. Now, before we shut any of the lights off today, the first thing we're going to do is set up an access line, which is an imaginary line straight from your camera to the subject. It's gonna give you a left and right to determine where to place your lights. As its name implies, the key light is the main and most important light that shines directly on the subject. And so that you can see exactly what that looks like, we're going to shut off all of the other lights right now. So now we have only the key light shining on Mark. And you can put the key light either on the left or the right side of the axis, but I like to put it on the broad side because it's a slimming and it's just an attractive look. And what the broad side is, is you can see where Mark is in the frame. We have this space, there's a lot of space here, that's the broad side, and this space is the short side. If you want, you can also bring your light closer in towards the axis, and you can see that's giving him a little bit of a softer look here. And then if you want more drama, go ahead and pull your key light back into the side. This is going to give you a really dramatic look to your portrait. So as you can see, ultimately the strength, color, and angle of the key light will determine the overall lighting design of your shot. Next is fill light, which is also shining directly on the subject, but it's the opposite side of the key light. The fill light will help to balance and soften the shadows created by this key light. So I'm gonna go over here and turn the key light on so you can see that effect that it has on Mark. You can see how it really brightens Mark's face. So before when we had the shadow on this side of his face, now we have a really nice balanced light. Last but not least, we have the backlight. And the backlight, also known as the rim light, is used to light the subject from behind. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn off the key in the fill light so you can really see what that backlight is doing. So you can see now with the backlight turned on that Mark's shoulders are separated from the background and he's got a nice even light back here. There's another way that you can use the backlight and that's as a kicker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're going to move this backlight over to the side. So now that we've moved the backlight into a kicker position, you can still see that we have great separation between the background and his shoulders, but we have a really nice highlight going on on his face right here. We're going to turn our other lights back on right now so you can see the full final effect of the three-point lighting. We have our fill light here and our key light, and that's three-point lighting with Mark. Thank you so much for being a great sport today. I hope you've learned something about the basics of three-point lighting.